tonight. It's the National Football League. It's Super Bowl Sunday. coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers, the AFC champion, taking on the champions from the NFC, the Atlanta Falcons. This Super Bowl is underway. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. So the Steelers' offense getting set for their first drive. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's at dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. Davis to run again on second. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Davis, he'll try to run for it. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and handling a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Back to throw, Goddard. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. Running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, 
had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. ground Rodgers he'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards now they're coming up on play number eight of this opening drive but they're looking at a third and long looking to throw Goddard that's caught inside the 20 and he's going to be brought down at about the 16 well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Back to throw. Goddard firing quickly here, and that's complete. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. To throw on second down. Goddard he dumps this off underneath. Here's Davis, and he'll be brought down this time at the 5-yard line. A chance for the first points of this Super Bowl. It's first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Davis. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. And on the grandest of stages, with a whole world watching the Super Bowl, they come out and get the first points. I don't know how you feel about Brandon, but for me, watching the beginning of the Super Bowl, I've often wondered how come it's not just a fumble fest? How come the ball's not all over the place? The nerves, the interim in between of the two weeks waiting for the game. But this team came out and handled it just like it was a regular season walk in the park. Terrific start. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's finished off with a 5-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And Thomas just going to hold on to this one. It's a touchback. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And led out by their veteran quarterback. He's been around a while. They don't celebrate birthdays for him. They just cut him up, see how many rings he's got around the middle. He has been in the league a long time. As we begin the Super Bowl, we're looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. That one good for 33 and a first. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more yeah. bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. On first and 10, Rich. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. On second down now, it's Stanley. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 41 yards rushing for him now on their opening drive of the Super Bowl. And Charles Ho-Hum, another year, another Super Bowl appearance for this head coach. He already holds the all-time record for most Super Bowl titles. And now here he is trying to bring home yet another. And this guy's thirst for victory, absolutely unquenchable. Every year we think, okay, that's enough. He's going to go ahead and retire and move on and give someone else a chance. But no, 
He keeps winning, and you keep playing, and you keep adding to your Super Bowl titles. Go ahead, give someone else a shot. Teach them how to play the game a little bit better so maybe they can win a Super Bowl, too. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Greg Dulcich from 19 yards away. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone short field but now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Point after here coming up. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter and we're tied 7-7. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And a Greg Dulcich touchdown reception finished that drive off. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. It sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Looking to throw. Goddard. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fielded just inside the 20. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And it will be Falcon football. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And some space here. Touchdown, Falcons. A big play there. 64 yards. And the Falcons have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Now the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. 
So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. Atlanta's 11 ready to go, and they kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They begin with a run by Davis, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Off the play fake, Goddard. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. On third down, Goddard. And he comes back with one complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've certainly got them involved in this first half. And on third down, they looked his way again. And what a delight for his quarterback to find him and keep the drive moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off play action, Goddard. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed it. Off of the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Off the play fake. Goddard. Getting this ball out wide for Davis. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Throwing on third and long. Goddard. And this is going to be incomplete. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to get the football back again. The Steelers send out their punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Well, the Falcons back out getting set for this next drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because Every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Back to the air on second down. Rich, he finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. Throwing on first down. Rich into the hands of London. 
And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Off play action. Rich. He finds his man complete. It's Stanley. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Back to throw. Rich flushed out right. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. Looking to throw. Rich. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and 10. Back to throw. Rich finds Dulcich out left side. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 29-yard line. Three catches for him now in this first quarter of the Super Bowl. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. On first down, Rich flushed to his right. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. On second down, it's Stanley. Then he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Looking to throw. Rich, throw left side, complete. That's Jacobs. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Falcons are gonna have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. It's like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll try the left side. Stanley. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. their three red zone trips so far they've come up empty on they'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal they'll keep it on the ground it's Stanley give him right around four on the carry we'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal operating from the gun Rich now he's got it touchdown Greg Dulcich his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Falcons continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. A CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 21 to 7. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. 
And a Greg Dulcich touchdown reception finished that drive off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. The first down carry for Davis. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Back to throw, Goddard. James has got it, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. the middle to Davis room here to run and they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35 45 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries and they really needed to get something going didn't they they had punted on the last two possessions the running game starting to come to the front for them providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 36. Looking to throw, Goddard. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Back to throw, Goddard. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Looking to throw. Goddard. It's complete to Robinson. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. So the completion gets him just a yard. And that'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down here, Mike Tomlin says, let's just get three. It'll be spotted on the right hash, a 52-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to try to bring it back in. And had just enough to get it done. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Back to throw. Rich. He finds his man complete. That's Stanley. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. 
Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second-guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line well short of the first down marker. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. Falcons send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Forty-two yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and ten. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. On first and ten, Goddard. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. It's Davis on the counter. And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Looking to throw. Goddard throwing right, and that's complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Goddard. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 34-yard line. Throwing on first down. Goddard. Over the middle complete. It's James. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. To throw on second down. Goddard. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. There's completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll run it again here with Davis. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 64 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense is just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Steelers have got it back to within a score. And that's why you have the fullback. Charles couldn't get it into play before with the smaller guy. Turned to a little more power. They score. And now it has to warm the hearts of a lot of old school football fans. They love when they get to see a little bit of power football. 
Now the extra point try forthcoming. And he's got it to make this a 21-17 game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Taken in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. They'll start this drive out on the ground. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Stanley. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Man, let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Throw over the middle, taken in by Dulcich. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Looking to throw on second down. Rich. Buying time to his left. He's got a man complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. That was a fantastic job of keeping that play alive. He had a chance to tuck it. I thought he might. They work on those situations all the time. This is coached, being able to keep your eyes downfield, keep the play alive, and not automatically run with the football. How about that lesson absorbed, and it turned into a big play. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. A 14-yard touchdown as his guys are able to extend their lead. Extra point attempt here still to come. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Five plays there on that drive. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. Atlanta's 11 ready to go, and they kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. To throw on second down, Goddard. 
Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Back to throw. Rich. He's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 35. Frankly, I don't know that this defense knows what to do anymore. Just look at their body language out there. The passing game has absolutely been relentless throughout. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Looking to throw. Rich. His throw caught right around the six. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. This is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. A great play there. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Falcons are feeling good as they extend their lead in the Super Bowl. Well, he is putting in a great all-around game, Charles. He already ran one in for a score, and now they utilize him in the passing game. And they put a lot of pressure on a defensive coordinator and a defense, don't they? Because they're used to him as a runner. But it turns out he's just as dangerous as some of those receivers, and he showed it right there. You don't pay enough attention to him defensively, he makes you pay. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. The drive summary that time, five plays. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, they're standing by as Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Thus far, this Super Bowl has looked less like a contest and more like a coronation. And to call the second half, Let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right.
right, Coach. Thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. And Thomas just going to hold on to this one. It's a touchback. The Falcons ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54. 49ers had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Couldn't hold on. So plenty can still happen. Looking to throw on second down. Rich. And he's got his man on the out round. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jacobs. And he's going to have a Falcons first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. And I think there defensively, they were so intent on stopping the run that they kind of got caught out of position. This is just a simple pitch and catch for a first down. They'll run on first down. Stanley. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield strike at the 49. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Stanley. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Two yards, good enough for first. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. On first down, Dent looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the lot of scrimmage, and that's it. On second down now, it's Stanley. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he's got his big tight end here. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Stanley. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage. He rifles one that's intercepted. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have a nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play. The extra point, up and good. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And Thomas just going to hold on to this one. It's a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better 
that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. On second down, it's Stanley. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And a gain of four gets them right to the midfield stripe. Off the play fake. Rich. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Back to throw. Rich. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 31-yard line. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Oh, boy, when a good tight end reads man coverage, is able to run the corner route, almost impossible to defend. They can use a good head fake, work him inside, and then they'll get him on their back or on their hip and keep them away from the football with their body. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Looking to throw. Rich. And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. On second down now. It's Stanley. Gave a glimpse of his power, but not a whole lot of space. Down at the 30. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Operating from the gun. Rich. Touchdown! A great effort there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Falcons will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Atlanta's 11 ready to go, and they kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. On first down, Goddard. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Second and four. to throw. Goddard. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Looking to throw. Goddard. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 
It'll be a gain of 17 and a Pittsburgh first. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Inside give to Davis. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Back to throw. Goddard. It's caught by Davis. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Off play action, Goddard. It's complete, he dials up Davis once more. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. It appears they found something that's working and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right, maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply, if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's gonna get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Seven yards there and a first down. to Davis and he's going to take this one down to the 25 so they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three operating from the gun Goddard and he's brought down here just outside of the 20 First and 10, Goddard. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's gonna be brought down at about the 16. To throw on second down, Goddard. Looking left side and it's complete. And the Steelers are gonna be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four yard line. Looking to throw, Goddard. And in for the Steelers, touchdown! From four yards out, and the Steelers get a bit closer. Well, that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. Here's the Steelers' kick team as they'll boot this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he returns this to the 22. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much doing there, maybe a yard up to the 23. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to throw. Rich. They'll give him four yards there, and it brings up third and five now.
Looking to throw. Rich. Throw left side. There's London. And he's going to have a Falcons first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Up the middle they go. Stanley. And he slips up past the 45 before